Ah. G'day, g'day. How are you all? And welcome back to another episode of Some Mice and Macar. Uh, last, last episode, we left off doing some poop jobs with the truck. Uh, what else did we do? I think that was it. We sort of just, like, went out in the, in the truck and just, just did some poop jobs just for a bit of money. Uh, and yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. Nothing really very exciting, but, uh, guess what, guys? They're here. Yep, the police, they don't mess around. They, are uh, they, uh, they're here. Oh, I can hear Uncle in the in the pub there. Before I die, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a pee. Just we're gonna start things off today by uh, you know, having a pee out in the out in the road. Yep. And we're also dying of thirst, so we'd better sort that out. We're probably gonna have a, just a drink here. Yeah, as soon as I as soon as I load into the game, they're already here. So uh. That was a bit unexpected, but still, like, yeah, it's it's pretty bad, pretty serious, because it was a it was vehicle vehicular manslaughter, which is uh, which is not good. Oh, that's my starter. But in today's episode, we are gonna do the wrecked cars, as I mentioned in the last episode, and I've mentioned it in like previous like episode saying that i want to really want to do the wrecked cars and this is the episode so yeah uh we've got good old ronnie here we someone uh mentioned in the comments that i had a my clutch was slipping yeah you can you can see how it's like just slipping like that i've definitely got to replace my clutch disc for sure because it has been acting up for a little bit now, and it's actually starting to sort of show some, some like effect on like how worn down it is. So we definitely got to get that sorted. There we go. Man, how long has it been since we had a shower last? We probably stink like really badly. All right, so. Let's let's drive up to the truck and let's we got to get some fuel for the for the truck as well because we didn't get put much in it last. Oh, and my uh oh uh oh uh oh stop! Oh god, my steering wheel is just disconnected for some reason. I don't know what happened there. My uh. My steering wheel seemed to have lost power there. That was really weird. Okay, there we go. Alright. Uh, oh, whoops. Handbrake's on. Yeah, you can see what it's doing now. That's like basically the clutch is slipping. Where it's just like, it's revving and it's not really pushing the car. Yeah. So, we definitely want to get that fixed as soon as possible. Because... When you're driving and your clutch is slipping, that could possibly over rev your engine, making it much hotter, and potentially blowing up the car if you're not lucky. Or if you're not careful, I mean. So, good old Ronnie here is gonna stay put once again. And let's get this uh, let's get this truck all warmed up, ready to go. Right, Ronnie, take care. I'm hoping the uh, the cops don't find my car and they they don't impound it or something. That would be that would be terrible. All right, let's get it started. Wait, the truck's already still warmed up. That's okay. Huh. I didn't know that. We still, we only left the truck a couple of hours ago in game, so yeah, it would stay warmed up. That's, that's good to know. Saves me having to wait for the truck to warm up or to get enough air pressure. All right, so let's go get some fuel for the truck. And 
Let's go looking for some wrecked cars. Now we should be able to drive through the middle here without getting caught by the cops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Oh, that was close. I want to like park up just like this. There we go. Okay. That was uh, pretty good. I wish we did that in the last episode because we wouldn't have been going to jail if it wasn't for us trying to park up like that and the local or the AI, I mean, uh, you know, hitting us. Uh, 375. Wait. Why? It's a uh, Tuesday and he's open. Uh oh. Uh, Timo, are you in there, mate? What have you done to Timo? He's not open. I, I don't want to go near there because they might they might be able to catch me, but I don't think I can get fuel. Nope, I cannot get fuel whatsoever. That's... Look who it is. I think he might... That might have been the guy I hit. I can't remember. But... I'm pretty sure you used to be able to actually get fuel while the cops were after you. I'm pretty sure you used to be able to. I think. Huh. Well, that's, uh... That changes things, doesn't it? Um... Wow. Well, I guess we're not going to be getting the wrecked cars today. Because we can't get fuel. <laughs> Can we get this sort of fuel? I doubt it, but still. Yeah. Can't get it. What's going on, mate? Hey, look at that. He waves to me. Wow, everyone's waving back to me now. So, this is great. Oh, but damn. I can't even get fuel. We've got, like, barely any fuel to make any sort of trip with the salvaged car. Hmm. Well... Uh, that really does change things. We're going to have to do something because we can't sort of uh, hand ourselves in at the moment because we've got, we got an episode to do. So, I guess we'll take this back and... Wait, we can actually go get the clutch fixed. We can probably go up to Flataris and see if we can uh, replace our clutch. Yeah, let's see if we can do that, eh? Let's go check if we can do that. Oh, that was a close one. Alright. The cousin driving by. Man, I really wanted to get the uh, wrecked cars today in, in this episode, but... Only if we put more fuel in the truck last episode. I reckon we could have easily been able to do it. But sadly, nah. Ah, oh, well. going on Ronnie we're back we uh, couldn't get any fuel for the truck so you know we're just we're just we're we're gonna go check if we can replace the clutch for you hey how's that sound all right let's start well I was gonna say let's start her up but yep anything on the radio yeah nothing really that good on the radio all right let's uh let's get to Flatari's place Yep, there it is. There's, there's the clutch slipping again. We should probably take it easy with the throttle. See if that uh, helps it.
I think my mix is, uh, my mixture here is a little out of, out of tune as well. I think. I think. Alright. Oh. Chuck in a second. Let's see how it goes. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. So, Cousin just left Perijavi, so that means he will be headed the way we are going right now. So, he'll be out of the way, which is good. Uh, our car is getting hot. Let me pull over real quick. Yeah, our car's getting a little hot, which is not good. I think the radiator might be loose again, and it's leaked out all my, uh... Uh, nah, maybe not. It is half full, so it will be a little hot. Uh, what I want to do is just double-check the... Oh, I did not mean to drink a beer, but okay. Yep. Uh, we'll grab a screwdriver. Double-check if these are all tightened down all the way. Oh, oh, okay. So this one wasn't screwed in. Okay. Uh, yep, you're done. Yep, you're good. Right, so this one wasn't screwed in. Okay, so that must be why we uh, are overheating. Now, I'm hoping we can open this without getting sprayed in the eyes. Yeah, see, so we were very low on uh, coolant there. Well, P, I mean, because we filled it up with P last. So, we'll fill it up with some pee, and then uh, I reckon we'll get going again. Alright, there we go. It's cooled down now. So, we've got a little bit more than halfway full. So, that should sort of sort us out. I just heard Uncle cough again. He's, he's at the pub and we're all the way down here. Mate, he must, like, cough really loud or something. All right, on the road again. Now, I know where two wrecked cars are. There's uh, the Satsuma one. That one is at the ski hill where we got the GT Center console on episode five, I think. I think. Maybe eight, I can't remember. But I had a look at that video and I realized that it was there and we're currently going past another wrecked car I forgot which one it's called but it's like that that little one I think it's like the second best no third best uh, it's just that one over there yeah that little wrecked car um, I don't know where the other two are I don't know we've definitely got to find out because they're the good ones, and that's those are the ones we want the most. We're ju I'm just going to take it easy. Just because. Because I know the clutch is going to be slipping a lot, so I don't want to be sort of pedal to the metal and... Having the car sort of be over revving and potentially uh, getting the car really hot. Uh, I'm thinking, since we're going to be replacing the clutch disc, we may as well replace the starter as well. We may as well because we're already there and we're going to be replacing parts. And the starter's an easy fix as well. All we need is a 7 mil, and that's it. We can just get it replaced, just like that. Uh, what else could we fix? Gearbox, eh. I think we're alright with the gearbox. We're getting in the gear pretty, pretty smoothly, so. Should be right. Pistons are definitely a bit worn. Uh, our car's not lacking so much power, so we shouldn't really... It's not terrible, our pistons, I don't know, they're bad. I think last time I... I don't know the last time we had a look. We should definitely have a look at what our condition is for the pistons. 
because if they've got like the black top on the pistons uh we definitely want to replace them if we can all right uh yep he there's no cops here so that's good let's just uh let's just park up here Nice. Okay, I'm glad there was no cops here. Uh, I've never seen cops here before at Plateaus, so... Interesting. Hey, how are we, mate? Long time no see. When's the last time I had a... When's the last time I, uh, visited you, mate? He's always so rude. Always. So... Let's get the, the hood, hood up. And I'm going to have a look at the pistons. We can sort of glitch our head through here. Oh, okay. So we've got three pistons that are like dark gray, sort of black colored. And there's one that's in the gray, but old. So that's bad. We definitely should replace those for sure. But honestly, I feel like we could get a little bit more out of them, to be honest. I reckon we could. I, uh... I reckon we definitely could get a little bit more out of our pistons. But what I want to do is replace the starter and the clutch disc, which is over there. Yep, it's over there. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Oh, can we... We can replace the clutch disc without removing the engine, I hope. Uh, yeah, that's right, because the... Yeah, okay. So, let's start with the, the starter. This is 7 mil. Take out these ones here. Boom. Just like that. Starter is gone. Uh, for some reason, that came off with that being screwed in. That's interesting. I don't really remember it being able to do that. Anyways, uh, that's done. Now we've got to re take off this drive gear and all this. Well, the inspection cover. We'll get rid of you. Uh, yep, I think the drive gear might be an 8. I think it might be smaller. Oh, yep. There it is. It's just playing up on me. Being a little weird. Is it just me, or is this... Oh, look at that. The damage, uh, the car's damaged. It's like glitching through the, uh, the drive gear here. I only just noticed that. <laughs> and there's one that's up here as well. Alright, that's the drive gear. Uh, now we should have access to this. Which has our clutch disc in. Oh. There we go. I don't know. What am I doing? Alright. Uh, there we go. Easy. There's our clutch disc. And all we got to do is disassemble it. There we go. That's it there. That's our clutch disc. There's really no sign of wear, really. You can't really... I don't think you can. I'm guessing maybe by just the look on the outside, like the rim and the springs are all dark. Sort of scratched up, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's actually any texture to see if it's actually worn down. Uh, why is my flywheel loose? Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's screw those in. Oh, it's bugged. See? It's not moving. What? That's weird. The... They're screwed in, but it's like... You see, like, I unscrew it, and the screw doesn't move. Or the bolt. Huh, that's weird. Alright, so... 375 and 295. Alright, we'll buy one of you, and one of you. Uh, 670, that's not bad. Uh, if I could... Yep, there we go. Thanks, uh, thanks for Tari. Legend. So, chuck you there. And the brand new starter. Mate.
All right, let's get the starter on first since that's the easiest. Uh, already got a already got a seven. Now I'm not sure if we have to rescrew that back in. I'm not sure. Do I have bloom on or something? I do. Huh. I was like just looking at me. Uh, the bolts are now so bloomy. It was like that's weird. I don't remember them being so. You know, be so so shiny. All right. Let's get the clutch back in. Uh, yep. Oh, no. Nah, nearly had it. Nearly had it. Come on. There you go. There you go. Alright. So, I think, it's a, I think it's an eight. Nope. Wait, are these smaller? I think they are. Yeah. Man, I'm, like, forgetting these, like, uh, bolt sizes. I usually don't, but today it's just, like, my brain is pretty slow. Alright, let's get these all screwed in. Make sure all of them are just screwed in all the way. Because if they're loose, that's just going to cause problems. Let's get this drive gear back on. And the inspection cover. Now, should be a 7 for the inspection cover, and an 8, I think, for the drive gear. No, it's not. <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm, like... My brain's just not there today, honestly. Make sure all this is screwed in as well. All the way. Yep. Perfect. Alright. So, that was an easy uh, easy fix. Let's just chuck this back in here. And start her up, eh? Let's start Ronnie up. Boom. Just like that, the starter just instantly just goes... All right, so that is fixed. Uh, anything else we should really re replace? Alternator, that's good. I remember that we replaced our rocket shaft as well. Uh, oil is looking probably halfway. I think, honestly, we could do like the whole, you know, rip out the whole engine and just replace every part. But I reckon we could probably wait a little bit longer till them pistons start, start showing some real like wear which will be pretty soon so if we get like a lack of power or something you know what I mean that's probably going to be the pistons or so alright so I don't know, man. There's really not much we can really do because the cops have... They've they've swarmed our house. They've swarmed Timo's shop. So, yeah, there's really not nothing we could do. We probably might have to leave it off here. It might have to be a, one of them, like, really short, boring episodes. But we did get the... We did get the Satsuma fixed, which is nice. Oh, look at that. That's heaps good. Well, my wheels are spinning, that's why it's just revving like that, but still. Wow. Heaps smooth. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, where would those other wrecked cars be, I reckon? Hmm. We've got half a tank of fuel here, so... We could possibly go for a search. Really not sure. Yeah, honestly, this tuning, I reckon we should change it up a bit because if I'm doing like 60, 80 Ks, it's like too rich in a way. And I don't know, I sort of want more performance when I'm doing like a decent speed in a way. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I definitely want to sort of give it a try. 
I know there's a wrecked car that can spawn there, but I think that's at the Satsuma one that only spawns there. Yeah. Nice. What else did we replace? We've got the... So we've done the rockers. We've done the alternator. We've done the water pump. We've done the starter. We've done the clutch disc. And I think that's it. I think all that's left is the pistons, the gearbox. Oh, and the head gasket we replaced as well. Uh, but yeah, all we've got now is the gearbox, pistons, crankshaft. And that might be it. I think that might be it. So, yeah. Uh, car's not shaking crazy. The, the car is not like all shaky and stuff. So the crankshaft's pretty good. Gearbox, we're getting in the gear pretty well. It's not, you know, kicking us out of gear every now and then. So that's, that's good. And usually pistons, I notice get like when they're really bad it's when there's like a really lack of power for the car is when i usually notice that when the pistons are really bad but honestly the car's performing pretty well it's you know it could be better but it's definitely it's definitely a little weak here and there but it's it's good i reckon maybe in the next two episodes we probably could be able to change the pistons out probably that depends if we drive the Satsuma or not, because we are going to be driving the truck in possibly the next episode, because we're going to be going to jail, and I'm going to be spending, like, hours in jail, pretty much. So, yeah, we might honestly have to end it off here, fellas. Yeah. I think we might just have to. Look at him. Oh, uncle. How did he get, how did he get out of the pub? <laughs> oh, uncle. He's, he's, he's one kind of a bloke, I tell ya. All right, well, I guess all we can do is just park up next to here and hand ourselves into the police. The walk of shame. Alright. This is going to be the last time Ronnie's going to be up and running. Yep. There it goes. We'll have a beer. Our last beer before we go to jail. You know what? Let's have three beers. Let's have three. Why not? Ronnie, protect my beers. Protect them at all cost. I wonder how our rims are going as well. Our uh, tread. I'd like to uh, have a look at that as well. Still can't get any fuel. Wow, the day's almost nearly over. It's like four. Yep. Yep, right now it's about four. 4 p.m. So, this is it, guys. We're going to jail for the first time in the series. Yeah, let's let's see how many days we get, eh? Hello, officer. Uh, could you not smack me with your bat in there? I would like to uh, surrender myself peacefully. Please, M maybe I could talk to this bloke. Mate, you reckon I could talk to this bloke? You you look you look like you're gonna hit me with that. So I'm just gonna. Gonna, uh, hello, sir, officer. I, uh, 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 I, I don't, I don't think I can talk to him. All right, looks like we're going up to our old mate here. Hello, sir. C could I have a chat with you? Oh, and there we go. He knocked us out. What? Ten days in jail. You're kidding. Hey! Let me out. <laughs> oh my god, ten days in jail? That's insane. Wow. Well, uh 
Yeah, we're in jail, guys. <laughs> we're in jail. Yeah. We've got a TV, which is cool. Really not much on there, which is a bit of a shame. We've got a radio, which is co which is pretty cool as well. But yeah, guys. Uh, honestly, I really don't want to spend 10 days, like, in jail. Like, I might... Honestly, I might have to cheat it, guys. I really think I might have to. Because 10 days, that's insane. That's, like... Probably a day IRL. <laughs> but that is going to have to, uh, that's going to have to do the video. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, it wasn't very, anything very exciting because, you know, we were sort of limited by what we could do uh, by the police. And yeah, we, we got the Satsuma sort of sorted out. You know, we fixed the starter and we replaced the clutch. So we don't have any more starter issues or clutch issues, which is great. Because that was really getting close to, uh, you know, getting real dangerous there with, uh, you know, the car potentially not starting again or just undrivable with the clutch. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like. If you didn't dislike, uh, comment down below if you have any name suggestions for the Satsuma. Currently, the name is Ronnie, and uh, Ronnie is currently at the Timo uh, is at Timo shop. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot and it grows my channel. So yeah, this is Yeti, signing off. See you guys.